Hello, Twinks and Brunettes, and welcome to my Build a City Challenge. We are playing with the land grab family in a castle. And as you can see, I have added my maid, my dear maid. And I've also downloaded a lot of stupid mods, but they're great. I've made some modifications to the castle because when she moved in, our dear Margie brought with her $20,000. So I was able to make some modifications and I just couldn't control myself. So I had to do it right then and now. I downloaded some things to make life in a medieval castle, but in Victorian times more livable, I guess. <laughs> I got chamber pots. This is... It, it is what it is. It's a fact that people used to use that. You know, it is a fact. I've also changed the service corridor. I made it go upstairs, go all the way around and then back downstairs. Cause that way we also have easy access to the second floor by these doors without ever having to like go up the main stairs there and like let people see the help. You know, we don't want people to see the help. And I've also added this ballroom, which for now is completely blank. There's nothing in it, not even flooring, but there's the chandelier. So, you know, priorities. And so far, I've only put like this buffet there. And I thought that could be practical for when they have a little bit more money to just like fill up the buffet and eat from there. And I've also added this little like balcony up top, which you can use to then go and look at the people dancing. Wait, well, yeah, this is going to be a ballroom, but most of the time it's just going to be fully empty because there's not going to be any use for it and i've decided that this over here is going to be kitchen area this is probably going to be like a study an office type of thing i don't know for the men of the house i don't know the men of the house so far is going to be like this burglar man that she hates to death so <laughs> And I thought this could be a drawing room or like a tea room, depending on what they want to do, because we do have like a tea table in this game. Obviously, I will not be able to afford anything right now, but we do have this tea time table, which I think is very interesting. So we could have like a tea room and then upstairs a drawing room or whatever. There's also going to be like tons of bedrooms in this house. So don't don't worry about space. What I'm worried about right now is bills. I'm not very worried about space. So what I'm going to do right away is lock this only for Margie. So she's the only one that can use these doors that can go up the service corridor. But she can also just go around the house the normal way. I'm not going to like keep her stuck in her chambers and only call her out when she's needed. And yeah, that damn burglar took everything I have. All my candles and my single chair. I'm also using this free floor everywhere. This is not it. It most of what you see right now is going to change. This is technically just like a water basket basin thing. It's got plumbing. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. This is a Sims. And this area over here, I thought could be like this could lead to a well, a couple corridors on either side that could lead to bedrooms. I think having bedrooms on the first floor for like the first kids, first kids that Prudy is going to have could be a good idea. I did download things that would allow me to use like this little notebook to write a book in so you don't need a computer. And I don't know where it ended up in like the uh, catalog thing, but I also downloaded a stack of books that you can just put on a desk and it acts like a, a, a hacked computer. And I'm a big fan of that. I know it worked because I remember seeing it in my game, but now I can't. I don't know where it ended up. <laughs> I'll worry about that later. And now look at this other very stupid mod I haven't downloaded. So call Sim. Look, it's a pigeon. <laughs> Quite literally, she's using a pigeon. Oh no, I've lost Ron Benson as a family friend. What am I gonna do? I might cry. I might. She's so good. She's cleaning everything in the kitchen. I don't even have to ask her. I did make her very neat. Oh lord, she wants to flirt. <gasps> I've made like three, um, three townies as well. So there might be people that we see going around looking very period appropriate. I dare say. All she can make is breakfast things because of her skill level. So let's make breakfast for dinner. Oh my god, she burned it. But she needs to get her cooking skill up, so I don't really care. Sucks that they always go and clean. Ugh, stop taking baths. This is the problem with like this Victorian era type of shit. That's all they want to do is take baths. It's the only fun they have. <laughs> I'm gonna be whimsical. I'm gonna go have a bath. Okay. You don't need like to have four baths a day. It's annoying though that they complain about not being able to flush the chamber pot every time they use it. You're not meant to flush it, babes. 
Uh, she wants to, a sink costing at least $500. Sinks don't exist, baby girl. She's so good. She even went and made Prudy's bed. She's She knows exactly what she's for. That's what's so great about Neat Sims. <laughs> and now my biggest problem is I do want to... Oh, Bridget. Hello, Bridget. You look strangely fitting in this world. Who, who could you be? Oh, why is she running? She was so excited to catch some butterflies. <laughs> she just couldn't contain herself. I don't know why I'm letting Margie do the painting because she's really not skilled enough to have this be worth anything. Why is Bridget running everywhere? Stop running, Bridget. Oh, now she's walking. She's calmed down. She's her She heard me. She's okay, I'll I'm gonna calm down. Oh, <gasps> another person that seems oddly fitting in this time and place. Hello, Rudolph. Go and meet him. Oh, I'm gonna toss a football with Bridget. Amazing. We're making friends. We're meeting people. Oh, Rudolph is telling me something that is very gross, apparently. He grosses me out. He's disgusting. Skunk. Oh, Rudolph wants to speak to me. Hello, Rudolph. I will never be interested in you because I have um, m much richer prospects in the burglar. But I appreciate, you know, your interest and your gentlemanliness. Bridget, if you need to pee, go home. This isn't a, a pee palace. Oh, she wants to brag to me. No. You can brag to me. I'm a land grab. I'm always open to bragging. You want to toss? Why is she so obsessed with tossing footballs? I don't even think footballs existed at that time. Oh, she, oh, Bridget is not shy. Just went down on that chamber pot like, <laughs> like nobody's business. Oh, they're doing kicky bag. Yeah, everyone is getting along. That's what I like. That's what I like. We should go to bed though. They're not stopping. It's like it's like half half to, halfway through midnight, and they're still. Okay. I forgot to give her a, a gender preference. When she wakes up, she's gonna randomize. Cause like she wants to flirt, but she could be she could be into the ladies. Oh no, she's into okay. Well, you know. Oh my god, she only made food for herself. She's so selfish. She did wake up at like four thirty AM. Oh, you didn't like that, baby? Mm, sorry. Margie doesn't really have the right priority. She always like starts food and then goes to the fridge to stuff her face. There's already food cooking up like and then you wonder why it burns. I don't wonder. I know why it burns. Well, at least one of them is having fun. Look at her. That's the fourth bat in a row. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. Rudolph is back. Let's go greet him. Because if Margie wants to have a family and have kids, she definitely can do that. Because this house, I'm expecting this house to be like 10 to 15 sims. Because anyway, it doesn't really matter if some of them die. Because back then, people would die for like no reason, so. It works with the lore. I've been chatting with the burglar for many hours every day, and I think we're friends now. Oh yeah, we are. Still hate him. Still hate him so, so much. But we're friends now. I'm gonna have to ask Rudolph to leave, though. Bye, Rudolph. It's pretty cute, though, Rudolph, to be fair. But I made him look kind of more like, um... He doesn't have as much money. He's like, not poor, but he's like... The, the the way I'm I'm um, making sense of these people being in my town is they're kind of curious about what Prudy's doing and they're just like scouting the area to see what's happening. And like, is it bussing down? Are people moving in? Is this like an, an interesting prospect for where they could also establish themselves, you know? Is there anyone of acceptable, you know, gentle breeding available to marry? Because that <laughs> is very important. I'd even argue that's the most important thing. Oh, and I see she wants to become best friends, which, yes, I was right. Means that she is friends with Rudolph now. Great development. It, they don't have any bolts, though. So I don't think they don't have, like, either positive or negative attraction. They just have none, <laughs> which is fine also. Happens. All right, but now I do need, I think I am starting to need dual income. I would need Margie to do something, probably write books. So I'm going to buy back one chair because they're so expensive. <laughs> I could get another chair. You're very right about that. I'm not going to though. And does Margie have a pigeon? Oh, does Margie have a pigeon phone? Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> I need a I need all my bitches with their pigeon phones. And once she's done with her bath, I'm gonna have her write a novel or at least start on a novel. Oh my god. Oh my god. We got rain. We got fish. We got magic. We got pirates. And we got salad. This is the perfect cover for that. Who's ringing though? Is it my prudy? No, it's not. You're ringing? Who's calling you? Is it Rudolph? What does he want? <gasps> it is Rudolph. Oh my god. Things are heating up. I think we're, we're soon go- Oh, Rudolph! I made three townies. He's the only one who 
constantly oh he, okay maybe don't hug me he's the only one who like consistently shows up to our house and we've only met two so far there's still one that has not made his presence known and he was the one i was kind of the most excited in seeing because he's very land grab coded very land grab coded okay rudolph if you could like jump rope anywhere else in the house it's like full of empty rooms but you choose to do it in the bathroom bold choice i bold choice but i wish you would stop i am going to invite russell sharp over to my house and hopefully tonight is the night that we get him to accept to be mr Landgrab from now on <laughs> russell <laughs> russell please <laughs> Get a hold of yourself. This is this is embarrassing, even for you. Oh, he's telling me a dirty joke. How will she react to that? Okay, she did not take that well, but she did. She did like chuckle. I'm gonna do that thing of apologizing over and over again, even though I'm not in the wrong, and hope that it takes like the fury away or, so or something like that. I don't think it's making it any better. I'm trying to make this better. The minus 25. It's really fucking me over right now. I don't know how long I can do this because it's almost 2 a.m. right now. I think he's going to get tired of this. Is there anything that I could quickly do? Oh, he's saying goodbye. Well, that might be for the best. And anyway, I know this was a long enough time for Prudy to truly get under his skin. Now he's obsessed. He's obsessed. They don't have any chemistry, but that doesn't matter. When has that ever mattered? Especially in these years when, you know, marriage was basically just a business contract. I think someone's calling you, pretty girl. Yeah. Oh, the mailman. I didn't necessarily want to talk to the mailman. She's such a good girl. She makes breakfast for Prudy, even though she is starved for fun. And there's Rudolph. Hello, Rudolph. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Hello, Emil. Hello, sir. Yeah, I know, but just like play. Oh, it says she likes him, but wait. I'm going to randomize them because they don't have preferences. So it's like not giving me actual bolts. Okay, they're both straight. This is a, this is so far. It's not very diverse. <laughs> not very diverse. Oh, two bolts. And now she has like negative bolts with Rudolph. This is so interesting, actually. So very interesting. Okay, he didn't feel the conversation, but that it's okay. That's not on you, girl. Oh my God, he hates me. Emil. Emil. Oh my god, he's so mean. What the fuck? I really made him land grab coded. Now, okay, you need to play with me, actually. Because the problem is I am... So, <laughs> I need fun so bad. And the play option is just not coming up. Play, play. Can I play catch with you? Oh! He just fucking... He kissed... Scandal! Scandal! I need to get married to him right away. <laughs> he kissed my hand. On the street. On the street. Fortunately, there was nobody to witness except for the butterfly. <laughs> but what a scandal what a scandal a maid to dude dude this is not okay you need to play catch with me first for like a couple minutes before i would consider any of that oh my god prudy no they yeah, reject that reject that no 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 okay by giving them sexual orientations i have made them trash they're like obsessed now they're rotten as we all knew men were according to the sims at least <laughs> We're getting really, we're getting along so well. <laughs> this was pretty good. Now I got my fun up. And I think I also made friends with him. Oh, yes, I absolutely have. Oh my God, everyone finished my pastries I made for bread. It's always having something new to do. Being a maid is so hard. <laughs> I love how the chamber pots don't really count as toilets. So Sims are not embarrassed to use it when they're in the same room as someone else. But to me, using a chamber pot would be more embarrassing than using a toilet. But then again, I've never had to use a chamber pot, so I don't know. You know, obviously being born after the fucking invention of plumbing. She's getting so old. I really need- oh my god. I need to stop, like, focusing on bullshit that doesn't matter and get that burglar to be my husband. I just- this is what I need. And I keep getting bills. Like, what the fuck? Annoy, it's just going to annoy him. Okay, Russell, hello. What is he going to do? Listen to dirty jokes. You know I don't love your dirty jokes. Oh, I did like that one though. Thank you, Russell. Now, can we do things that will get us out of this, like, I hate you period that we're in right now? Who's that? Who the? What the fuck? Not with him, girl. Not with him. You think he's gross? <laughs> Margie, not him. Not Rudolph. Oh my god. <sighs> this is actually so embarrassing for her. I can't believe this. Classic dance. Like, at least this guy is good money for her. May have been, like, kissing her hand on the street, but that's still, like, better for her, I believe. She thinks he's gross, though. I mean, well, she likes a hard worker and rich, but, like, he can't be those things right now because technically burglars in game don't have a 
job. I could put him in the criminal career, but I would have... I think when you do a build a city challenge, if you actually follow the rules, you're supposed to unlock careers by doing specific things, which I don't know if I'm going to go that far. So I might just make put him in the criminal career. Like the, the career is definitely not going to be period appropriate. And it's definitely going to have a carpool car showing up to take him to work. You don't need a bath. Queen, go to bed. You've done enough for today, Margie. You've <laughs> that's that's good enough. Thank you. Emil wants to flirt with me. Boy. Why is nobody doing what I want them to do? Maybe it's because I'm not controlling them. That could be that could be something. And now they're hanging out together. I just <laughs> boys. I just want him to live with me. Why is that so hard? I'm getting so old. It's so much harder to like gain relationship with someone you're not attracted to with ACR and that's like logical because I can't use romantic interactions to gain anything. Like she's not attracted at all. Oh, now she is. Well, just make up your mind, Margie. Like she wasn't attracted at all to Rudolph and she still accepted his advance. So you never know. But oh my god, Prudy, she was going to take a bath. Oh, unbelievable. Oh shit, there's no more there's no more food. I'm gonna have to call the very period appropriate delivery service. <laughs> also probably going to have to sell this painting to be able to afford it. He always starts any like hanging out sesh by telling me, oh my god. Now you see, this is exactly what, this is what I want. This is very scandalous though. You need to get married right now. You can't do that. I can't propose to go steady, but I can't ask him to live with me. <laughs> Pillow fight. Oh, that's a great idea. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, things are working out in my favor, but I just want to be able to ask him to live with me because if he's going to do that to me, he needs to put a ring on it and he needs to to put uh, something else in, in me. Can you believe I'm saying <laughs> Oh my god, charming me. How much longer? Probably not that much. Oh, okay, no, a caress is too much. It's taking it a bit too far. I'll initiate some of the stuff to see if that helps. No, your friend Rudolph cannot come over. I just want you. <laughs> well, at least now I can ask him to stay the night. I just hope he says yes. Oh, yes, he said yes. Okay, okay, okay. Now, at least he's not gonna, like, run away. Emil is being witness to all of this. He's not gonna say a word, I'm sure. Because he's a gentleman. And he also likes to do the same, so. Oh, yeah, there he goes right away. <laughs> oh, the wolf is here. Yeah, my, when my game lags like this, is because the wolf is showing up. Where's that god darn... Whoa, he's in love with me. Where's the wolf? Oh, my, or maybe not. Maybe it's, it wasn't because of the wolf. Okay, he's in love with me. Can he just move in? Uh, nah, not yet. Okay. He likes me so much more than I like him. She hates him though. She keeps trying to annoy him or argue with him like unprompted, unprovoked, annoy. See? Oh, he's making himself at home. He's going to take a bath. Okay, Russell. Anyway, uh, Margie, I need you to go make some food. Oh, chat. Now, she's being civil with him. She's being nice. A big reason why I also want this castle specifically to be very populated is because I don't want to have to build another castle or like another fancy Victorian house. Oh, my uh, bath that doesn't use plumbing uh, is broken and needs repairing. How that happened? Don't ask me. What? Where'd he just go? He said he'd stay the night. He was in his pajamas. What the fuck? No, you come back. Yeah, it, it is a pleasure to see me all the time, always. What the hell? Why is he leaving? What are you? What is he doing? Is he trying to rob me? He's like, can't rob her tonight if I sleep here. <laughs> All right, it's fine. I'll call him in the morning and I'll ask him to live with me in the morning. If he will like humor me and stay when I ask him to come over. Oh my God, they put the jar of like dead bugs inside my water bowl. Making these breakfast things is not giving her any cooking skills. She's still at zero. <laughs> oh my God, she finished her book. Oh my God, oh my God. Um, She's gonna call it. it it wasn't a romantic book at all, but I'm still gonna call it The Prince and The Maid. Oh, I can't, it's too long. A royal scandal. There we go. And I'm gonna get it delivered, but I am not going to get a phone call to tell me how much it's sold for because I don't have a house phone. So I don't know what's gonna happen with that. Am I just not gonna get paid? Because I have a, a cell phone, but if I buy a phone for like a second, is it gonna ring? No. Oh, and the notebook disappeared. The notebook disappears once you're done with the book. Oh, that's interesting to know. Anyway, I wrote a book for nothing. I didn't even get paid for it. That's nice. Kind of stupid that that's a requirement to have a phone. Stop walking right now. Russell, he's... What's his issue? Is it because he's hot? Stop whining. Everyone, reset the fucking temperature. Come back, you coward. Now, Russell, we cannot play these games anymore. I'm getting older every day. Move in. Oh, fifth. Oh, this is almost better. Oh, yes. 
Will she say yes if if she's not in love with with him? I'm very curious to try. I I might save and like try it and see if it works. Cause I've never had um an engagement get rejected before. I don't think. And I'd be I'd be very um. Oh yeah, she's gonna refuse. <laughs> she's gonna refuse. <laughs> I just wanted to see that cutscene. That's why I saved. I'm gonna get out and then come back and not do this. It's gonna be fine. This was just very funny to me. All right, nope. I'm not gonna save this. <laughs> I'm gonna start by making him presentable. Period appropriate, as one says. Oh, I like this. This works also with the with the vibe. Because I have a lot of hair that would obviously not work with this era, let's say. I'm not sure why, but this is exactly the vibe. Let's put him into a nice little outfit. <laughs> oh, I like this one in red. Let's go for it. There, he's ready. He's fucking ready. All right, anyway, the wedding part isn't even that important. What is important right now is getting knocked up. But I think before anything of the sort takes place, I should actually make her a bedroom, which I think is going to be the first room that we have on technically the third floor, but really the second floor. And that's very exciting, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm realizing right now I should probably add paint to the rooms that are like started downstairs before I do that. Oh, but don't worry, someday the castle is not going to look like a half prefab castle. It's actually going to look like a castle. Why is this man in my maid's quarters looking at her chamber pot lornfully? Now this is regal as fuck. Okay, this is kind of nice. And now, where is the bedroom going to go? I think this might as well just stay not like nothing. Now, was it the priority to make these towers? Um, to make this look more like a castle? No obviously not but i i still did that and of course we're gonna go with the oxidized clay tiles because this is a castle that's obviously been here long enough for the tiles of the roofing to go green obviously obviously and i also want to make it very clear that anything you see right now might not make it like forever so don't necessarily go ahead and get used to it <laughs> i'm wasting so much time choosing wallpaper for like the dining room and stuff right now while well, what I'm supposed to be doing is making Prudy a bedroom. Don't worry about it though. The problem right now is I need something that would look good duplicated on two floors because this is a double height room and that really messes with how the wallpapers look. <gasps> or I could do something like that just the same but like a switch of color. I kind of like this. It's a lot. Don't get me wrong. It's a lot but it's pretty cute or maybe should i do the opposite the, the green underneath and the white oh or both green or both white i don't know but there's green on the bottom and hmm i think i preferred when the green was on top and this or maybe the yellow oh this might be it this, this kitchen is not gonna stay like this <laughs> this stuff is gonna get out and the tables might change or maybe i'll keep them that's why i think the yellow looks better because of the orange yeah i think i'll keep it like that I like this. I usually don't stay into build or buy mode a lot, but for this thing, I don't know, I get into a mood. For this, I need to do some blackout rooms, so let's get them blacked out. Now, I went less intense than I thought I would because obviously I have less money than I thought I did, but I still went uh, a bit too far in my opinion. <laughs> um, I added some wallpaper to a lot of rooms, to the dining room, the servants' quarters, the entrance, and like this foyer there. And then I made the third floor, technically second floor, which opens up to a huge room, which is going to be the main bed chamber. But it's not only going to be a bedroom. For now, this is as big as I could make it with the money I have. It's actually going to go all the way up here. And then this is probably going to be like an area. I don't know, because let's not forget that the castle is actually going to keep going this way and is going to keep going this way. So like, we're not done here. We're really not done here. And I'm also probably going to add two little towers like I did at the back here but in the front here and these two towers are going to be accessible from the main bed chamber so hell yeah and can I get a chamber pot yeah still got plenty of money for the chamber pot let's put it at the foot of the bed because that's the sexiest place to have it and then honestly I think we're gonna go have a baby right now I'm tired of waiting I'm tired of asking <laughs> and like for now it's a bit awkward because it opens up on a big huge arch but there's going to be like the double entrance like I've been doing downstairs like this. But if I was to do that, I would have run out of money and not been able to buy a bed. 
so priorities we're not engaged or married yet but it's it's okay it doesn't matter i just want to get her to be expecting as fast as possible <gasps> she just fell in love oh my god i'll have her initiate like all the stuff of asking to go steady and engagement because i don't think he's going to be very successful but i hope she gets pregnant just cross your fingers with me please well i mean that just that just means you gotta try again try and try and try again look how swell he is <laughs> He's accepting to go steady with me. That's lovely. Can we try this again? I thought I might make him a little bit older. Just so it's believable that he was like burgling the house so early on. But I'm not going to make him like super old. Because I would like him to still be around for a while. When their kids are still young and Prudy's going to be gone. Because she, <laughs> you know, if they have kids until she can't anymore because she's so close to being an elder, then the kids are going to be quite young when she becomes an elder. So they'll need someone to still be around, <laughs> which I guess will be their dad and probably Margie. Come on, girl. Oh, my God. Did you not ovulate? What is this? Or maybe it worked and it just didn't chime? No. Maybe he's the problem. Maybe he's impotent. Try for baby the, the, the good way, the not casual woohoo way, maybe. The not ACR way, I should say. That, that still didn't work. Oh my god. No, 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 no. What is wrong with you both? She's almost starving. They're not on birth control of any kind because I wouldn't have done that. And I just checked and I haven't done that. So like, that's not the issue. I guess they just don't want to. Come on. Oh my god. I don't know what the issue is. <laughs> and I was getting hopeful because she was getting very hungry and like feeling like shit. But it wasn't because she was pregnant or anything. She was just miserable. Come on now. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We're going to have a little royal baby. They're not royals at all. <laughs> they just have a castle. They are not royals. I'm going to need to buy a bookcase so she can learn to cook. Oh my god, he's almost dying. What is happening? Why are my sims so hungry? Like, dangerously hungry. Prudy, I would understand because now she is with child. And let's see how many. Because it took forever to get pregnant. Okay, it's just one. But now we need to get married and engaged really fast. Anyway, it's not going to pass as a, an accident <laughs> with the way it happened. Nobody could argue this wasn't wanted. Okay, you should come here and then, oh my god, stop. And then I'm going to ask you to marry me. He's going to say yes because he loves me so, so much. This is beautiful and so romantic. I do think we are going to have our first party in our ballroom. Can I promise that the ballroom is going to be at all presentable and and beautiful no but it's going to be there now we actually don't have enough money to buy an arch so what i'm gonna do is sell that chandelier and then we can buy an arch because at least at least we'll have that and then i guess we'll put it like there and then after the wedding's done i'll sell the arch back and i'll probably won't be able to buy the chandelier again but it's that's okay now we see them in their formal now Things first time we see Prudy in her beautiful pink dress. And he's there too. Margie, what are you doing? Okay, she's here. So romantic. Not shotgun at all. They just loved each other so, so much. They couldn't hold back. Oh, I just noticed for the first time that she's got kind of pointy ears. That's very cute. Sim and Icon, absolutely. We are the land grabs. And in attendance, of course, we have the mailman, the guy that brings the newspaper, and Emil. And of course, Rudolph. But he wasn't actually in attendance. He was just in the kitchen and bridget was just there oh my god okay she margie is trying to make it very clear that she's got a thing for emil and he wants a baby god you're i was about to say way ahead of me but absolutely not you're behind me you're late they're getting so lovey-dovey i feel like they would like have to make their intentions of uh courting each other known to everybody it gives me a good reason to do that you know make things official move things along and margie could have a double bed in there there's plenty of space there's plenty of space and there's plenty of space for a little bess in it also <gasps> oh she just got a bump oh my god oh those pjs are not great for this but that's okay i'm happy for you you got a bump oh my god next generation of land grabs oh this food has gone bad she wants to classic dance with emil and rudolph she's so confused but i think you know what i think i'm gonna classic dance with emil oh he's um oh my god there's ha ah, people are way too open about their nakedness oh okay well goodbye bridget i hope it's not too cold outside oh my god she learned a, a culinary skill point never seen before we're, we're fine we're good Every, everything is fine and good and it's okay i don't know if i should download the mod that 
allows you to die in childbirth i shouldn't say allow <laughs> oh oh my god okay we're giving birth okay he's coming to watch the birth i don't really care about rolling the pacifier or whatever for this first birth because it is what it is you know we've not had a child yet with them so it doesn't really matter there's no risk of having the firstborn syndrome but we'll need to roll the pacifier for the future babies this is so exciting i'm gonna have to look up some victorian names it's a baby boy I could go the easy route and say Malcolm, but no. Oh my God, Theodore, like that chipmunk. <laughs> We've had a baby. Our legacy will live on. And of course now dear Margie has been promoted to full-time nanny. So Theodore has got blonde hair from what I can see. Not sure about the eyes though. What are those eyes? Gray? Could that be gray? She's got light blue. He's got like, I don't know what he's got. I don't know what he's got. Is that gray? It might be. Anyway. We'll see you later. I'm not like, I don't really mind. I don't really care about that. Since we need so much money, I'm going to get Russell a job in the criminal career. Like I said, I might. I think anyway, to unlock career, you have to like get more playable Sims. And now I have four playable Sims technically. So, you know, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Oh, I'm going to need to get like a changing table. I should keep this in the bedroom. This isn't very uh, rich land grab to have that stuff in their bedroom. It doesn't feel very rich land grab to have that stuff in your bedroom. I don't even have enough money to buy the thing that makes me be able to dress my babies. So uh, Theodore is going to stay in his little diaper, I think. Well, she's going to relax and Emil is here. So I know exactly what she's going to do. In her lady's bedchamber? In her lady's bedchamber? If she gets pregnant, I'm going to scream. -ah. It would be so like her to do that though. The chamber pot. <laughs> All right, I didn't hear anything. I think I would have heard a chime. Yeah, no, she's fine. It's just very funny that she felt the need to do that. She wants to get engaged. I thought, I thought that would, I thought that would pop up. She's a family sim after all. But if he moves in with us as her husband, of course, that will mean I would probably make him like the, the tutor of the kids. Are we going to? Okay, yes. I, I think maybe you should, you guys should get out of this room because they're trying to make <laughs> baby number two happen or something. And I think you should probably leave both of you. Oh, he's going. Okay. People have, oh my God. People have absolutely no. <gasps> oh my God. Dude, I think you're going to have to get out the room. I would have gotten out the room like multiple minutes ago dude get out dude this isn't a brothel just what is this situation try for baby yeah just go away try for baby go away yeah okay call him call him over call over why are they not doing it it's like they're frozen in place just do it i didn't ask them to do that and my, i thought my try for baby with acr was turned off but maybe i need to do that for every hood i play it's not like it's a hood by hood thing unmarried try for baby is disabled but it doesn't say anything about married try for baby autonomous try for baby is enabled hmm interesting all right well this episode was a huge struggle for money and i think next time this is what i'm going to try to focus on he's got a job now he's a pickpocket so he's going around town and like stealing gold tokens or whatever the fuck from people's satchels so um we'll make a bit of money from that but like i wanted to pay margie i can't really pay margie if i don't even have money to do anything else and hopefully prudy can get back to painting if she's not too distracted by going to try for bb with her husband like all the time every day maybe she will maybe that's what i want her to do i don't know yet <laughs> but yes thank you for being here with me today as always i love you and i care about you please follow me on all of my social medias they will be linked down below as well as my kofi if that is something that could interest you and the link to join our discord server will also be down below now sleep tight don't let the butt light bite so so